Okay, guys. Nifty Thrifty Girl here featuring a uh, Kenmore Convertible Model 1946. This is a um, convertible machine, which means it converts from a flatbed to a free arm. And it does that very easily. All you do is push the button here on the bottom front. And the whole deck slips off. And then there's your free arm access. And of course in the arm is also your bobbin. And your feed dog drops over here, the lever to the side. And it slips back on as easily as it came off. Now if you need to access your bobbin, but you don't want to take off the whole arm, there's a little button right here that you push and this little panel comes off and then you can access your bobbin and your feed dog from the front. It's a one amp machine. It's all metal inside. It does have some plastic pieces outside. It's seen a little bit of wear and tear. It has some paint wear here on the front um, and that's from where it was dropped down into the cabinet. Um, most of the free arm machines if they were in a cabinet they'll have paint wear in these exact places on the front. Um, there's a little crack here in the plastic knob. I mean it, it's all just cosmetic. The, the crack doesn't affect it in any way. The knob still works fine. It does have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight built-in stitches. It's double needle capable and it has stretch and regular stitches both. And it also has a built-in button holder here on this dial. With this machine you get the original instruction manual, although the cover is gone. It is the original manual in good shape inside. Um, also with it you get, it looks like you need that buttonhole foot, so I'll put that in there. Also with it, and the staples gone out of it. It's coming apart, but it is complete. You get a box of this low shank accessories. This particular machine is a low shank, which is pretty cool because it's not a super high shank. It uses standard low shank feet and attachments. You get a cording zipper foot, satin stitch foot, a straight stitch foot, a Kenmore screwdriver, some needles, and it also comes with a straight stitch plate and needle plate insert. You get an original Kenmore logo bobbin box um, and you also get this really cool field crest decorating digest. It has like how to make chair covers and sofa covers and how to do some upholstery and place mats and it has all kinds of cool craft tips in there and as with all of our machines this machine has been serviced and it's ready to go um there is no real case for these there is actually it's the yellow kenmore case where it just sets down in the base um, or it, you have to have the special free arm cabinet that has the spring mechanism that drops it down in, but it has a wood panel to mount it to. But it is tabletop ready as you see it, and uh, it's ready to go. And as I said, it is the 1946. So here we go. Start with the zigzag. Anybody that keeps up with my videos knows that Ken Moores are my favorite and these free arms are my absolute favorite. And it's been a rarity because the last month or so we've just had an onslaught of free arms and I actually have another one in waiting after this one sold. So, and there's a cheaper one listed right now as well. If you don't use a machine as often or if you want, you know, your daughter to start with one, there's a nice little one I have for sale as well. Um, okay, that was a zigzag. I'm going to switch over to multi-point zigzag. And of course this uses standard class 15 bobbins and 15 by 1 needles. Double needle, it just uses a standard double needle. And as you can tell, it's running smoothly, ready to go. Here's a stretch stitch, and this is built in. This is not a cam machine, everything's built in. does have the high presser foot lift as typical Kenmore's do which is nice if you have a thick project to get underneath which I'll show you that in just a second. There's another stretch stitch. And 
as you can hear, she's smooth, quiet, and working just fine. Makes perfect stitch front and back there. Um, this is five layers of thick denim. Go back to regular stitch, and I'm using a size 16 needle. It will use up to a size 18 or as small as a size 9. And I'm not running it as fast as it'll go just because I don't want to break a needle. But as you can see, it handles the five layers of denim without issue. And the fact that it's a free arm makes it perfect for hemming your jeans, shirt sleeves, all kinds of other projects. Hard to see, but there's a perfect stitch there, and you are going to get this fabric with it. And this is four layers of domestic leather. It's not very thick, but, you know, if you had a skirt or something that you're working on, that's what it would be. A walking foot always works a little better because then your fabric's not bunching up between the feed dog and the foot. But as you can see, it does fine. Just with the regular foot as well, it just starts bunching up. Walking foot keeps a little smoother zigzag, straight, all very nice stitches on that. That is the Kenmore Model 1946 Convertible Free Arm. Um, my email is underneath if you have any questions. This is for sale on eBay. They don't last very long, so if you go um, Nifty Thrifty Girl on eBay, run over there and grab it if it's still available. Check our feedback. We pack machines to arrive safely. Our machines are received in good condition and they work as we say they do. That's the purpose for the video, so you can be comfortable when you're purchasing a machine from us. Um, and like I said, my email's at the bottom. Email with any questions. Thank you.